Hey, hey, John O'Brien. Always working. Always stay flexible. Always take the software upgrade. And always know that if you, as my friend Tony Rush would say, if you don't quit, you can't fail. So life keeps changing, but your hustle cannot. So I was just telling my wife we were, uh, and our driver, Steve, I was just telling the story. We were telling the scout was playing and uh, my wife had too much fun in our Basel and walked past the guy who was escorting us. We had to, the guy had to go back through the secure area to, to walk us back because he, we couldn't do it by ourselves. So I was telling uh, Shatra the story that, you know, this whole security thing, which is a norm for everybody today, that's not the way the world used to be. So, always working. So this has had to be John O'Brien circa, I don't know, 1988, 89, 90, something, right? Um, and um, I was in LA, I lived in LA, and um, I was going to Japan on an international flight. And as usual, I was running late. I was at, at meetings before that, I was making, I was maximizing every moment. I've always maximized time. I, and uh, I, I like to think I'm generous about everything else, but I'm ruthless about my time. I don't let anybody waste my time. I try not to. So I was maximizing time, hustling, going to meetings, and I was running to the airport for this international flight, running, and literally. And we pulled up to the curb. <laughs> my assistant left the car running. No, I jump out with my bags. He, he set the curb, and I ran through the airport. Ran all the way back when saying OJ was the positive thing. I did an OJ, and for the people you too young to understand that, OJ Simpson was a, a, more than a murderer. He was an <laughs> NFL star. And this great commercial I called him Juice, where he would run over and jump over bags running through the airport. You can't do that now. You get tackled by TSA. So anyway, I, I ran from the curb all the way through the airport. There was no security. <laughs> okay? This is crazy. There was no security, right? And uh, ran all the way through to the plane. Jumped on the plane. Sat down. International flight. Oh, crap. I forgot my music. It's a long flight, right? Back then, it was a single disc player that you hit a button and you were cool. And it popped up. And you could play one disc. Somebody, somebody tell me that you understand what I'm talking about. Somebody tell me you, you remember these days. And uh, tell me what the disc player was called. And I had a whole binder full of CDs by genre of music. I had the, the disc and I had the art from the disc. This is right, this is right after albums. Remember, there, was, there used to be albums, vinyl. Right? This was after albums. It was before albums was eight tracks or cassettes before cassettes was eight track anyway this is C CDs and you had art work for the CD cover and that was behind the CD it was really it had it all organized beautifully anyway I called my assistant hey man my assistant was also the guy cut my hair back then God rest his soul um, and um, I said hey can you James Kennard is his name God rest his soul can you get my music collection. He goes back to my house. I live about 10 minutes from the airport, 15 minutes. He goes back to my house, grabs my CD collection, a big binder, drives back to the airport, parks at the curb. Are you guys laughing yet? Parks at the curb. Runs all the way through the airport with my CD collection. Are you laughing yet? Are you stunned yet? Runs on the plane and hands me my music. <laughs> we take off. <laughs> Imagine how many laws you'd break today. I'm just going on with this camera today. Imagine what, how many laws we break today uh, and how many times you got tackled, arrested, lectured, told how inappropriate all this was. And, but, you know, it's like none of that would be possible today. None of it, I don't think. Uh, but that was not so long ago. That was, I'm just going to say 1990. So, yeah. Life changes but it also remains the same the hustle is it's the same and in fact I'm not giving up on this camera <laughs> it's, it is the same I never give up the technology will quit before I do John O'Brien stay positive stay in the fight stay in the light stay with what's right and never give up on your dreams ever 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 and go to Operation Hope get your financial coaching it's all free that's what I was fighting for back then was building something so that you don't have to fight
fight as hard as I did. All right.